Coming up next, the Jazz take it on the Suns. For Utah, not the start to the season that this team wanted, but they can turn it around with a win at any time. We'll see if that starts tonight. Suns, Jazz, it's next, right after this. Hey everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. You take a look at the Suns, already they're on the outside looking in. Ninth place in the conference. And checking out Utah, a game back. Well, right now for the Suns, they've looked simply average so far. And that's shocking when you consider how good they were last year. But it's so early in the season. I don't think they're going to have much trouble finding their form by the time the season really hits its stride. Here are the five for the Suns. All the stars on the floor for the Suns. Booker and Beal the backcourt. And KD up front. Eric Gordon is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. And for Utah, Lori Markinen out there with John Collins. Then it's Jordan Clarkson, then there's George, and it's Abaji in at the three, the small forward. It seems like rookies these days get more playing time right away compared to past generations. But Smitty, you were relied on immediately. Yeah, I was a top five pick for the Miami Heat, and they were only in their fourth season as an expansion team. So I knew I was going to get a chance to play. I just wasn't sure how much. Now here's Booker. George with the block. Now Clarkson. Pass to George. Back to Clarkson. Here's Collins. Just four to shoot. George is screen on Durant. Marking and misses. And so Durant will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. And in the last meeting, they were the better defensive team. They were the disruptors, causing turnovers all over the place. They wreaked havoc on the defensive end and really held the pace of the game in their favor for the entire game. Smitty, looking at Yusuf Nurkic, a big man who loves getting physical out there. He's a center B.A. that doesn't mind throwing his body around, whether that be going after rebounds or attempting blocks. He's a hard-edged player. First one at the line is good. And Grant, despite the lack of a superstar offensive weapon, the Jazz, one of the more efficient offenses. Yeah, B.A. And two areas where they separate themselves, they shoot a ton of threes, and they do a really good job tracking down those long rebounds on the offensive glass. Nurkic hits them both. A player like Nurkic is a good piece for any squad. They can rely on him to take care of business inside on both ends of the floor. Now here's George. 15 in his last outing. Oh, deflected. Abaji, pass to Markkinen. Collins, high post. Here's George. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Beal surveying the D. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. And he comes up with a bucket. I mean, capable of playing either guard position, Beal is especially difficult to contain in pick and rolls. 
George against Booker. George passes to Markkanen. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Now here's Booker. Coming off a terrific game against Minnesota. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. He expects to make every one of those. And we expect him to make them too. Pass to Markkanen. With the drive. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. A growing aspect of George's game. He's working to become a strong facilitator. And here's Nurkic. Outside Booker. Nurkic is screen on George. For three, Booker. Rebounded by the Jazz. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Markkinen. Collins with a screen on Durant. Here's Markkinen, and it's Utah scoring again. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Outside Durant. Now here's Beal. Here's Durant. Abaji with a rebound. One of five to start the game. They have to slow down and just play their brand of basketball. Count it. Good. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. For Phoenix, they've gone one of five to start things off. Outside Durant. Nurkic to screen on Marketing. Here's Durant. Trills the baseline jumper. He can break you down solo, but coming off a screen, how are you going to stop KD? George passes to Clarkson, and there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul of the game. Clarkson for three, and that's good. His first bucket of the game. <laughs> I just love the ball. Move. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix, trailing by five. Durant surveying the D. There's a screen by Nurkic. Durant, pass to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down! Kevin Durant takes pride in playing the right way. He looks to make the extra pass and set up his teammates. Pass to Markkanen. Here's Abaji. The three! Rebounded by Nurkic. Markkinen against Gordon. Outside Durant. Beal with it. Nurkic passes to Beal. He drops it from range. Beal's got five. Head on a swivel. Nurkic kept surveying and found his guy. Pass to Abaji. And here's Markkinen. Now George. Collins with it, defended by Nurkic. Collins passes to Markkanen. Now here's George. Five to shoot. Collins with a screen on Booker. Oh, there's the alley! And then it's Collins with the dunk. One of the best young lob men in the business. John Collins finished with an explanation point. Outside Booker. There's a screen by Nurkic. Fires it. Oh, and that miss makes him 0 for 4. Not a great start. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Pass to Clarkson. He's in his comfort zone. 2 for 2 to start this one. Tough points from Clarkson. He can make the hard buckets. Hooker, the pass to Gordon. And here's Durant. Slammed in by Durant. When KD goes up, there's no way to stop him. Pass to Collins. George against Gordon. 
It's George on the drive. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Now Beal on the wing, Durant. Booker surveying the D. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. In transition, here come the Suns. From about 16, jump shot is good. It's all knotted up. But we've seen Booker put up crazy numbers. He's got a nose for scoring points. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Abaji. Clarkson for three. Rebounded by Nurkic. For Phoenix, they've got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Gordon, right side. To the paint. And then Peel with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a ball. Pass to Markkinen. Collins with a screen on Durant. Here's Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stop. Hey, when in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Durant. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. The ball handling from Durant, really a key to what sets him apart as a player. He can pull up and break you down. Pass to Markkinen. Clarkson with a screen on Durant. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. And this break in action gives us a chance to see which teams are getting it done from distance. It's the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Phoenix, fourth. Instead of just bombing away, they work hard to create good looks from beyond the arc. Booker finds Nurkic. And here's Durant. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by George. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Marking it from long range. And it's Devin Booker with a rebound. And so it's Booker with it. He brings it up for Phoenix. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. They really relied on the perimeter game in that one. Just consistent from distance all night. We talk a lot about shot selection. And we saw why. You want to avoid empty possessions. Now here's George. Looking at his numbers, putting up eight points a game. Now here's Gordon. Tight defense on him. Pass to Beal. Inside. Here's Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Nurkic operates so well out of the pick and roll. He sets hard screens, and he's a reliable finisher. Now a timeout called by Utah. A different look for Utah. Olenix checked in for Markkinen. Sexton comes in for Clarkson. And it's Horton Tucker in for George. Lots can be said about Bradley Beal's scoring grin. But there's more to his game than that. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the shooting is just the most eye-catching part. He also averages solid assist numbers and plays at a high effort level off ball or on defense. Beautiful touch over the top. Sexton doesn't need to get to the rim to be effective. Here's Beal. No good there. Some solid defense from Sexton. Collins with a screen on Booker to the middle. And there's Collins on the assist by Sexton. Collins has got his second bucket on the night. Quality pass by Sexton, taking full advantage of that opening. Booker, the pass to Beal. Nope, that one misses. Now three for five. Utah has gone one of four from deep. Beal against Sexton. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Abaji. Sexton against Beal. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Establishing a paint presence early in the game, it really helps 
it pays big dividends the down the line because it frees up your perimeter. Another thing that's gone well for them is the mid-range jumper. <laughs> it's been falling with ease so far. You know, when analyzing the game of Colin Sexton, this is a guy who can score from all three levels, Greg. You know, this is what his team has asked him to do, to be aggressive on offense and to shoot the ball with confidence too, B.A. Now here's Beal. Seven points in the game. To stop the run, and he hits the jumper. Beal's got nine. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Gordon Tucker, the pass to Sexton. Now Marketing tries it from 16, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Marketing. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter here. Beal outside. Three pointer. Here's Eubanks. And he goes in for the dunk. Cunning decision by Beal. The pick and roll doesn't free him up, so he moves the ball. Utah trailing here. Pass to market it. And he banks in the layup. He's got 10. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Floats one up. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Second Grant, team usually team. the Suns rack up lots of assists. They're a team that values ball movement. Oh, B.A., that's how you create quality looks. By snapping the ball around, it also tells you something about how selfless these guys are. throw drops for Beal. Well, Steve, this Jazz franchise has quietly been one of the most consistent teams in the West over the last seven years. You're so right, B.A., and doing it without building a super team is the most impressive part for me. You see teams go on long playoff streaks, and they're full of superstars, but not those Jazz teams. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. From the arc. He nails it from beyond the arc. And it's a five-point Phoenix lead. A volume three-point shooter. Beal knows he has the green light to shoot threes whenever he wants. Bradley Beal has been leading the charge for Phoenix. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Suns. So far for me, they found a lot of good shots in the bid range. They've been fearless attacking with the jump shot. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. On the court right now, second quarter for the Suns. They've got Keita Bates-Diop. Bradley Beal's out there with Grayson Allen. Then it's Josh Okogie. And it's Eubanks in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Hendricks. No points yet. Shot clock at six. Horton Tucker connects from downtown. The quick release there for Taylor Horton Tucker. I love the consistency. Beal, the pass to Bates-Diop. Here's Okogie. Bates D off the screen. Okogi's shot is off. Defensively, it's hard to account for everything 
They gambled off him, and it worked. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Lori Markkinen has become the go-to scorer for the Jazz. Coach Will Hardy said, quote, it's not easy going from being a role player to being the guy. There's an emotional part of being counted on like this, and he's handled it very well. To have the evolution that he has had is something that he should be very, very proud of. Brian? Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Ali. Good stuff there. A Kogi on the wing. It's guarded by Markkinen. Beal outside. Bates D off the screen. Here's the three. And Beal hits it from deep. Beal's got 18 points in the game. Three level score. Beal can make every type of shot, and he's made a lot of them tonight. Pass to Hendricks. Back to Sexton. Here's Olenek. And he parries his first look. Hard to cover Olenek. His height is such a natural advantage. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Beal right side. Here's Bates Diop. Off target from three-point range. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And he lobs it up. Offensive board. Pass to Sexton. Marketing with it. Another shot. Wow! Marketing leaving his mark inside. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Phoenix has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Allen, the pass to Beal. Bates Dia. Now Eubanks. Beal from outside. It's rebounded by Hendricks. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. And there's the foul. It's on Colin Sexton. That's foul number two for him. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Markson's checked in for Utah. George comes in for Horton Tucker. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. in terms of building a title team is the era of super teams over you think ba no way despite what happened with katie harden and kyrie in brooklyn front offices will always look to align stars i think you just need the right personalities now here's clarkson five points in the game so they take the lead clarkson's got his third basket of the night clarkson knows how to navigate the pick and roll Put him in that set, and he'll make it work. Here's Beal, and it's in, off the glass. <laughs> Shooting at a high clip, he's found ways to get quality looks. Clarkson, right side. Okogi pulls down the board. The Suns leading. Pass to Beal. Fires the three. Beal with another miss. The Jazz have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's George. Marking it outside. The three ball. The rebound by Eubanks. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. George against Beal. No good from 11 feet. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Pass to Markinen. Now here's Clarkson. Eubanks defending. George outside. Fires the three. The Jazz again can't hit. For Phoenix, they've gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. And Beal with the basket on the assist by Gordon. Beal's got 22. And just putting the moves to work right there. I mean, Beal manages to get his shot in spite of the contact. Outside Olenek. Sexton with it. Picked up by Eubanks. Sexton misses. And Gordon has got the ball here for the Suns. Three-point lead. Pass to Beal. 
Takes a three. Sinks it from distance. Beal's got 10 points in the quarter. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love watching Beal go to work. He makes good decisions, and that time, no hesitation off the catch. Now here's Olenek. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Portland. George passes to Clarkson. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. Phoenix has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Gordon, and Gordon with the big finish. And they're building up steam, getting out in front, and trying not to look back. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. Now here's Sexton. 13 points in the win against Portland. Olenek finds Sexton. Down to five on the shot clock. Clarkson for three. Counted from distance. Clarkson's got ten. Clarkson takes a lot of threes for a reason because he's so confident in his shooting abilities. Phoenix calls timeout. Phoenix. Bowl, he's checked in for Eubanks. Kevin Durant comes in for Bates Diop. And it's Booker in for Bradley Beal. The Suns have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Outside Durant. There's the three. Missed it. Three for six now. Utah trailing here. George outside. The ball's knocked loose. And here's Gordon. He picked up 15 in their last win against Minnesota. Yep, that one goes. you got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. The Jazz shooting around 53%, a nice number. Hooker against George. with a screen on Booker. The three, George. The Suns clear it. Phoenix with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. You know, Grant, thinking back to those 2021 finals, the Suns coming so close to their first championship. Think about it, B.A. Phoenix had a 2-0 lead over the Bucks, but Giannis then decided to take over. And still, I think that taste of the finals was great for Devin Booker and the Suns. Here's George. Following the score by Phoenix. George, a screen on Gordon. Just five on the clock. Back to Clarkson for three. And the three-pointer goes. Clarkson's got eight points in the quarter. They are shooting it well from beyond the arc right now. On the wing, Durant. Utah with the rebound. Hendricks has got his fourth rebound in this one. George against Booker. Pass to Clarkson. Collins a screen. And there's Clarkson. That one's good. On the assist by George. George has got four assists now tonight. Outside bowl. Here's Okogie. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. This one for three. Hits a three-pointer. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. The Jazz have gotten 7 of 15 shots here in the second quarter. On the wing, Clarkson over Gordon. And there's another one for the Jazz. He played well in the first quarter, but now he's taking it to the next level. Outside Durant. Back to Booker. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Oh, even in a bad situation, Booker has finesse. Works around the foul with grace instead of power. When it comes to the Utah Jazz, it's evident that they are in rebuild mode, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., after trading away both Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell in the summer of 22, the Jazz are focused on starting new and building a team with young talent. Marketing's checked in for Utah. That 
free throw good from Booker. Yeah, known as one of the game's most talented scorers, Booker is locked in on wanting to compete for championships. Clarkson for three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Beal outside. Pass to Gordon. Collins against Nurkic. Pulls up. Nice shot by Durant. Durant's got eight. Rapid fire from KD that time. You got to get to him early. Here's Abaji. Tries to spin move. George outside. And he drives in. Rebounded by Nurkic. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Outside Durant. Collins with the rebound. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Collins with a screen on Booker. Clarkson outside. Here's Collins. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Kevin Durant. Collins knows you have to battle inside, so he's ready for the physicality. And Smitty, when it comes to John Collins, what do you like about this guy? What I love, Grant, he's a team guy. He'll play the four, he'll play the five. He'll do whatever is necessary so his team can win. Free throw is good from Collins. You know, when John Collins is being utilized correctly, he's a problem. A talented offensive player and solid defender. And both free throws good for Collins. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Nurkic passes to Beal. Nurkic a screen on Clarkson. Beal attacking over Clarkson. Beal gets the bucket. Beal's got 27 points. And he's carried them this quarter. A dominant offensive stretch. Pass to Collins. Clarkson with the ball. 46 seconds left in the first half of this game. Well, he's put up zeros for an entire quarter. Not the way you try to get back into this ball game. Down low. Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Clarkson against Beal. Get the teardrop. No luck on that one. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Pass to Booker. Eleven seconds left in the second period. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Fantastic hustle from Booker, doing everything he can to distract the shooter. And so it's Phoenix. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and Coach. What's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Just be us. Okay, we got to go on the free throw line, keep him off the free throw line, make him make contested twos. We got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. It is a wonderful night for basketball and a wonderful time to get a quick 
wonderful rundown of how the wonderful West looks early on in this wonderful season. Is that too many wonderfuls? No, you're wonderful. You know, for Phoenix, they're right where I expected them to be. The effort is there, but their play is inconsistent. Feels like they're still constructing this roster. We'll see what they look like by the end of the year. And moving on now to Bradley Beal. How terrific has he been so far in this one? Oh, he's going hard in the paint, taking it right at the defense. I love his commitment to getting high percentage looks, Shaq. Look, I don't do this often, but I'm bestowing upon him the Shaquille O'Neal Badge of Honor. Got to. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. George out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's Laurie Markkinen. Then there's John Collins. And it's Abaji in at the small forward position. That's the group for Utah right now. The Suns leading. Here's Booker, and he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The quickness from Booker makes him hard to defend inside. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker. Two shots. Shoot two. And he drops a first. Both free throws good from Booker. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Pass to Collins. Market and outside. Let's it go from 11. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And so Durant will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They lead by 11. Largest margin of the game. Outside for Booker. Cans it from the wing. Booker's got 13 now. Pretty swift release that time from Booker. Getting it away just in time. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Brian, the new leadership for the Suns is proving to be aggressive right from the jump. Within days of new ownership taking over, the blockbuster trade for Kevin Durant was executed. The luxury tax bill increased, but the message from the Suns' top brass was we're focused on winning and not money. Money follows success, Bia. No doubt about that. With Beal in the mix, they are all in. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting for Phoenix, Eric Gordon. Two shots. The first one falls. Free throws good from Gordon. The Jazz have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Booker against George. Out to the right wing. And Beal comes to help. Six on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Marketing. Oh, and it's Collins. That time on the assist by Markkinen. Collins has got his third basket on the night right there. Collins has gone three for three from the floor. Beal outside. 
Booker with a screen on Clarkson. He's feeling it. Beal shot is off. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Clarkson. Cash. He's 9 for 14 in the game. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Beal outside. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Pass to Nurkic. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on John Collins. A massive player. It's so hard to defend Nurkic without fouling him. And he can't get the first one. He's good on the second. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. George with it. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. And there's no question George can fill it up. For him, it's about focusing on shooting good percentages. Good from George. He does not get the second one. The Suns have gone just one of three in the second half. Durant pass to Booker to the inside. Nurkic throws it down. Man, that's why Booker is one of the best passers in our game. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Clarkson against Beal. Collins with a screen on Beal. And he's going for the oop here. And then it's Collins with the dunk. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Booker. He's got 13. <laughs> There's nothing you can do if you're the defense. Booker is so solid at muscling shots into contact. Well, Jordan Clarkson has had many different roles in his career, Smitty. All with the same outcome. B.A., it doesn't matter what jersey Clarkson has on or what role he has. The dude is going to score. Simple as that. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. You know... You can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. He had it flowing from long range in the first half. Not sure what changed. From 15 feet away, Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Clarkson passes to Markkinen. Well, when you think of potential 50-40-90 guys, Lowry Markkinen has the chops for it, Smitty. It's so great to see him come into his own B.A. Took him a while to adjust to the league, but now the league's having to adjust to him. Good for marketing. With his size, athleticism, and skill set, marketing can play at the three, four, or five. He creates matchup problems for the defense. Oh, 
That one falls, so he hits both of them. And the way the regular season came down to the wire last year, with so many teams still in the hunt, Smitty, that play-in tournament keeps things interesting, right? I love it, B.A., because like you said, at the end of the season, you had teams still competing at a high level. They had also teams that was trying to get out of the play-in playing extremely hard. So I thought it was great. I love it. Nurkic rattling the iron. On the wing, Clarkson, pounded by Beal. And that one's good, Clarkson. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Booker can't get it to go. For Utah, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Beal against Clarkson. to Abaji. Clarkson outside. Four on the clock. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Sharing the wealth, Jordan Clarkson with a nice pass. Booker, pass to Durant. Nurkic to screen on marketing. Here's Durant. Out to Gordon. From behind the arc. Knocks down the triple. Gordon's got five points now in the quarter. Just a smart pass by Nurkic, taking advantage of an open guy. George against Booker. Down low. It's stolen by Nurkic. Ooh, against inside resistance. Booker still good. Not easy to hold Booker back. He commits to his selections 100%. Pass to Collins. Now here's Clarkson. And Nurkic comes to help. George outside. Puts up a three. Knocks it down from distance. George has got six. And the shooting skill across the board for this rookie is what makes Keontae George so difficult to defend. Beal outside. That one's good. Give the assist to Booker. And the Suns lead by 14. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivery. Collins with a screen on Booker. Clarkson outside. Doubled by Durant. Market in for three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Already one of the best shooting bigs in the league. Marketing matches threes. Pass to Nurkic. Booker against George. Outside Booker. Now Beal. And another basket for Phoenix. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Utah has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. And the Jazz call time here. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. I mean, the ridiculous production from beyond the arc. They have to find a way to cool him down. And the Suns also making a change. Okogie's checked in. Clarkson outside. The three. Kevin Durant pulls it in. Durant's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Booker. There's the triple. The rebound by the Jazz. George has got a sixth rebound on the night. Outside Olenek. Back to George. Pass to Clarkson. Six to shoot. The Jazz again can't hit. Those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Here's Okogi. Looking at his numbers, putting up eight points a game. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. 
Now here's Clarkson, and Beal comes to help. Clarkson with the ball. Beal picks him up. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. You got to tip your hat to him. He's doing all he can to keep them in the game. He still hasn't missed. Here's Booker. Oh, look at Book with the focus. The easy money there for Booker. You can't let him get this close with the ball. Clarkson against Beal. And it's Clarkson missing. And so it's Nurkic who brings up the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Here's Booker. Ooh, nice D from George. The Jazz have gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Outside Olenek. George outside. Pass to Clarkson. Kevin Durant with a rebound. Durant's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Now Booker. George defending. Outside Durant. Back to Nurkic. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got three assists in the game. I love this offense by Kevin Durant doing a nice job of finding his teammates. Now here's Clarkson. 24 points for him. Here's Abaji. Pass to Clarkson. Fires from deep. Knocks down the long J. Clarkson's got 27 points. Picking up from where he left off. I lost count of how many threes he hit in the first half. Now nails this one. Three-pointer. Beal. Offensive rebound. Booker. Good. Booker's got 12 points in just the second half. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Pass to Olenek. Here's Abaji. To the middle. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. Collins has got 17 points. It's obvious he's taking it upon himself to try and keep them alive. Booker, the pass to Durant. Here's Nurkic, guarded by Olenek. Beal with it. Let's the three fly. Drills it from deep. Beal's got eight points here in the quarter. How about his aggressiveness from three? He caught fire in the first half. Now hits his second one since the break. He's a bad, bad man. Now here's Olenek. Pass to Clarkson. The fadeaway. Oh, and it's Collins. That time on the assist by Clarkson. Clarkson's got his sixth assist of the night. Up top, Booker. George defending. Durant has the open look. And the Suns getting another bucket right there. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused, and they've executed. Now here's George. He has six. And out of bounds. The Suns will take it. Phoenix making some changes. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Bates Diop comes in for Durant. And it's Gordon in for Booker. Phoenix has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Beal outside. From 12 feet. The rebound by the Jazz. 19 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Hendricks. Outside Sexton. And here's Horton Tucker, hounded by Beal. They get the rebound. Here's Hendricks. Marking it from long range. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ballgame. The Suns ahead, leading by 17. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this.
and a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. But this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Well, the Suns shooting a fantastic 57%. On the court for the Suns, getting the fourth quarter going. They've got Devin Booker, Kata Bates-Diop out there with Drew Eubanks. Then there's Eric Gordon, and it's Okogie in at the three. Now here's Sexton, up and over Gordon. Bates-Diop with a rebound. Sexton against Booker. Bates D up. He almost brought the basket down on top of himself. Oh, there's hang time, and then there's a time to hang. Now here's Horton Tucker. Booker defending. To the paint. It's stolen. And now the Suns. Fast break. And here's Gordon from the arc. Rebound, Utah. Hendricks has got seven rebounds in the game. Sexton against Gordon. Sexton passes to Horton Tucker. And here's Olenek. Back to Horton Tucker. And a nice finish on the layup. And with an excellent understanding of the game, Olenek is able to find open teammates. And Booker has got the ball here for Phoenix. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Good work there as it goes. Booker's got 14 points now in the second half. If there's anything Booker can't do on a basketball court, I want to know all about it because tonight he's doing it all. Marketing the pass to Olenek. And it's Olenek with a jam. The size advantage gives him a clear path to the shot. Sexton against Gordon. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Pass to Bates Dia. And stolen by Sexton. Inside. And that one is stuffed right through. <laughs> Talk about taking advantage of the opportunity. How about the anticipation right there that led to the steal? Then he goes straight to the bucket. Great activity at both ends. Great teamwork as well. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Yurt Sevens checked in for Olenek. Metu, he's checked in for Phoenix. Allen comes in for Bates Diop. Now here's Horton Tucker. Marketing it outside. Pass to your seven. Shot clock at five. Here's Horton Tucker. He buries it from three. If Taylor Horton Tucker's three-point shot has fallen, it will make him truly dangerous. Now Gordon. Here's Okogie. Launches it. Fires in the triple. And the Suns lead by 15. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that one felt a little personal right there. Sometimes it's a matter of pride. Answering back with a three of his own. Now here's Markkinen. Pass to your seven. Here's Horton Tucker. And again, it's Utah with a three. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now here's Gordon to the inside. Metu lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Here's Hendricks. Outside Horton Tucker. The three is up. The Suns clear it. Okogie's got four rebounds now. Tries a 10-footer. Misses off the right iron. 
Utah has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Now here's Horton Tucker. He's guarded closely. Pass to your seven. Here's Hendricks. Off target with the three. For Phoenix, they've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Okogi, the pass to Booker. Shot is up. The rebound by Markkanen. Markkanen's got a rebound number five here tonight. Now you're at seven. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markkanen. Marketing good in the paint. This is where marketing can just dominate you right under the hoop. Outside Booker. Now here's Gordon. It's rebounded by Hendricks. Hendricks has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to your seven. Gordon Tucker with it. Allen defending. Marketing against Booker. Marketing, the pass to your seven. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. That's his first personal foul. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Suns. I think they've looked to dump it down low as often as possible. And so far, they've been super successful using this attack. Well, another thing they did well was taking advantage of the holes in the defense. Very aggressive in exploiting the lack of concentration. No good on the free throw. Phoenix making some changes. Nurkic just checked in for Metu. Kevin Durant comes in for Gordon. And it's Beal in for Devin Booker. He hits the second from the line. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. And so Durant will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Pass to Nurkic. Nurkic a screen on George. For three, Allen. Rebounded by the Jazz. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Clarkson against Allen. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. This is what Clarkson does best. Once he gets rolling, he's really difficult to slow down. Clarkson against Allen. Here's Beal. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got five rebounds in the game. George against Beal. Here's Clarkson. Doesn't go for him. Beal with some nice D. Phoenix has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. They double-team Beal. Three-pointer. Nice shot by Okogi. And the Suns lead by 12. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide-open man. Pass to Markkinen. Collins outside. Look at the pin with the finish. Lowry Markkinen. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Now here's George. Collins with a screen on Beal. Pass to Clarkson. Allen brings a double team. And he's going for the lob. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Since day one, there was never any doubt that marketing could score, but we didn't know he'd be this prolific. Durant with it. Back to Beal. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one. We all know Beal might be a shorter off guard at 6'3", but Bradley has heart. He plays way bigger than that listed height. Now here's George. Pass to Clarkson. Allen brings a double team. Marketing from long range. 
And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Nurkic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Allen attacking. Down low. Here's Okogi. Nurkic a screen on Markkinen. Okogi, the pass to Nurkic. And Nurkic throws it down. Putting points up all over the place. Nurkic is having a night. And Utah calls time here. Hey, it's been quite a game for Bradley Beal. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double. Whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. Abaji's checked in for Utah. Gordon, he's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Allen. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Will Hardy was going over with his team. He told his guys to, quote, turn it up. Going on to say, only way we get out of this hole is with effort. Incredible effort. So show me what you can do out there. It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Phoenix has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Gordon outside. Outside Booker. Let's it go from deep. And the Suns get another three. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Booker against George. Collins outside. Back to George. Marking it outside. The Jazz again can't hit. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game, not theirs. Booker, good. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. Now here's George to win the cold spell. And he sinks the layup. And just muscling it in, George, very aggressive. Phoenix has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Outside Durant. Beal draws the double. Durant against George. Pass to Booker. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his sixth rebound on the night. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Suns. The coaching staff has to be happy with the way they've limited their turnovers here. Yeah, B.A., that's hashtag facts. Just tremendous patience and self-control. And with this win, they've tallied up a total of six wins on the year. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Bradley Beal. Hard not to be impressed by what he did tonight. He was aggressive, he was efficient, and the defense had no answer. Count the basket. Beal's got 39. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. They're on a little run right now, but I'm wondering, where was this energy earlier? Well, the question becomes, are they playing that much better now, or has their opponent taken the rest of the night off? Now here's Booker. Pass to Nurkic. The kick to Durant. Out of bounds. It'll be Utah's ball. Substitution on the court. Seventeen seconds left to play in the fourth. Now here's Horton Tucker. Allen defending. Now here's Horton Tucker. So it's the Suns winning this one easily. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. 
as we present our New Balance player of the game, Bradley Beal.